In today's episode, we are finally going to try and unlock the V-Kit that we're missing. We've also got a bunch of enchants to put on our axe for wood chopping, which we focused on last episode, and we got a whole bunch of other stuff to do as well in this episode, so stay tuned to find out more. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Skyblock. Of course, today we're back here on the number one Skyblock server, Akuma MC, for another day, another episode, and another adventure here on the server. Today, guys, like I said, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff, including improving my axe that we worked on so heavily last episode because you guys seem to really really enjoy that and it does seem like we have found a new meta so we're going to go into that a little bit more later now guys i'm going to be doing an absolutely massive giveaway for you here in just a moment so don't go anywhere don't leave don't do anything because it's going to be absolutely huge and i know you guys are going to love it but i actually forgot to try and open the shard in last episode that i had so i do have a nebula v kit shard here now now if we don't unlock this right now i will literally go and buy one right now and i'll do it again because i literally have to unlock this we were meant to open this one last episode. I've, I've literally been trying to open one every episode to see if I can unlock it every time we do a video. So yeah, I'm going to open this one right now. We're going to hope for the best. If this doesn't unlock forever, this will be like our fourth failed one. Please unlock forever. Dude, we literally have the worst luck on those freaking V kit shards. I am literally going to go and purchase one right now and, and open a second one today. I, I literally, I will do it. I, I'm going to have to do it. Maybe we can get one out of this supernova cluster. And actually, we might already have a claimable V kit in the Outlander kit. Yes, we do. Let's see. Can we get anything good from this one? right now we're gonna get dude if i i i feel like i've opened one of these crates nearly every episode maybe apart from the first one and i've gotten an xp booster in almost every single one that i've opened and i don't know about you guys but i'm not a fan of that too much oh well it is what it is we've got another one imagine we're gonna if we get an xp booster in this one i'm actually convinced that the crates are broken and that we literally can't get anything other than an xp booster i don't know let's see what we get we get a gladiator rank okay what is that is that like uh what is that fourth top rank maybe i, I don't even think that's a good rank actually it's probably not even the bet. Yeah, it's not, I, I don't even think that's a really good one, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to salvage all real quick, get rid of the stuff that I don't need, and uh, yeah, well, I, I guess I need to go and get another V-Kit. One day, guys, one day we're going to unlock this V-Kit, I swear. All right, while we're waiting for that second one to come through, let me announce the giveaway for you guys, because I, I feel like you guys have been absolutely killing it recently, so I figured I would reward you with something cool as a giveaway. So, one lucky person that's watching this video right now, as my V-Kit comes through, is going to be receiving a $50 store gift card, okay? So, this will be gift card credit that you guys can use on the store and absolutely anything that you would like or you can use it to trade you can do literally whatever you want with it but it will be a gift card for 50 dollars on the store now the only important requirements here uh, you, you guys are going to really have to listen to these requirements because they're a little bit complicated down in the description there is a link to a video which is a top three minecraft skyblock servers video okay all the normal requirements that you'd usually do on this video you're going to go ahead and go over there and do it so feel free to leave it until the end of watching this video or whatever but the link will be down in the description so don't forget i will remind you at the end of the video as well but basically what you're going to do is you're going to go and like that video you're going to go and comment your username down on that video and you're going to make sure you subscribe and as long as you've done that then you will be entered into winning that 50 dollar uh like gift card right there and also because that video has a giveaway for a top rank here on skyblock as well you can technically go and enter for that as well so make sure you go and do that um you can also like you like this video comment your username on this video as well i'll i'll basically just combine them both and then pick the winner like that so if you don't really fancy going over to the other video then i guess you can just do it here but yeah that is literally all you have to do very very simple all right let's try this nebula kit again if i don't unlock this one this time i literally don't even know what to do i've been told that extra luck comes when you open it at spawn i didn't even notice this spawn that's actually crazy um, <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and open it right here right now here we go boom if if this doesn't unlock i literally don't even know what to tell you guys at this point please unlock forever <sighs> Dude, I, 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 I just don't even know what to tell you guys anymore. I, <laughs> I must have the absolute worst unlock luck for V-Kit shards this entire season. What the heck is a chopper pet? Has the ability to break... Okay, we need to use that today. That's actually crazy. We have one right now that's activated and it's literally for mining. That's no use to us. A chopper pet is exactly what we're after today. All right, we'll open up the cluster as well just in case this thing wants to give me anything insane. It probably won't because my luck has just not been here today. Let's see dude i actually i actually want to vomit bro i actually i cannot believe i just cannot believe this simple amount of freaking xp boosters we're receiving i do not want them i do not even use them i probably should but i don't use them so that's a yikes so for those of you who remember last episode then you'll know exactly what we were doing we were out here in the forest and we were essentially just mining trees like it that's literally what happened we upgraded our axe we got our tree cutting skills up or our logging skills or whatever the heck they call it on here um we got all of those skills up and it was a good time 
you know, we did we did a, a, a nice amount of grinding. We got a good amount of gems. I'm now up to 15, well, pretty much 15k gems after doing a little bit of off-camera grinding as well. And I have a bunch of books that we need to go ahead and apply to my axe or, or also discover to apply to my axe because there is uh, there's, there's a lot of engines that we're missing currently on our axe that would probably help us out quite a lot, actually. So let me just get my gems to 15k because I feel like that's a nice little number to have so we can uh, we can get there. But yes, I believe we got uh, at least four or five books that are ready to go. Now, like I said, this is absolutely right now the number one, I would say, best way of getting gems. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I think that you guys would probably agree with me. The amount of gems that we get just from doing this is, is pretty insane. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back and inch or discover these books, I guess, and then decide whether we want to inch on them because it actually ties perfectly in to our next quest because we literally have a quest to use three books of the Warp Enchanter. So it actually kind of works. And then we're actually on to some farming challenges. So those would be interesting to do as well. So let's go to the Enchanter. We're going to go and see what we can discover. And then we're going to see which ones we actually want to enchant because we don't really have any XP levels right now. So we're going to need to get some of those. Um, yeah, let's see what we want. Um, we'll go with Book Hunter here. I think Book Hunter is something which we should get. We don't have any Book Hunter on the axe yet. And uh, it's definitely something that we want. The more books we can get, the more enchants we'll get. All that good stuff. I'm just going to go with efficiency here. I don't really need to multiply drops at this second because I'm not really using it as a money maker, uh, more of a gem maker. And I don't think the efficiency is going to adjust that at all. Um, I don't know what we have efficiency three. So theoretically, this could actually max out my efficiency here. Now, let's go ahead and just try one of these. There we go. It does actually succeed. We'll go ahead and try the other real quick because, oh, we don't have enough. We need 56 XP levels. I'm going to have to see if I can buy some XP. It's 100 levels, about 15 million in money right now by the looks of it. Or there's one here for 13 million. I'm going to go ahead and buy it like we, we do need to use it today. So it's not going to be uh, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's a little bit expensive, but it is what it is. There we go. We have efficiently got officially got efficiency five there now. So we do actually have some turbo chopping uh, to actually go ahead and add as well already. We'll add that right now. May as well. There we go. That gets the quest done as well. And we're straight on to the carrot quest. So we will work that out here in a second. So that's already some very, very nice upgrades. We will absolutely take that. I would actually quite like an additional bit of speed on here. So let's apply that. That's nice. We now have speed two while we've got the axe. We can run around a little bit faster. Got two more logging books to un or uh, und not undiscover to discover right here. See what we can find. We've got turbo chopping. Don't really know what it goes up to, but I would imagine at f it's five at a minimum. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and pick that one out. See what else we can get here on our last book that's ready. Ooh, spirit feast. That one actually kind of seems like it could be rare or pretty cool at least to have. So I will take that. Um, and actually, I will go ahead and see if I can put it on there because that will be a nice new enchant to have that we would like to have ready for us. Um, we don't have enough to do this. Let's try a 58% chance. Rip. I shouldn't have done that. I probably should not have done that, but that's okay. It is what it is. We will get more XP and more money at some point. So I do want to go and test out my brand new uh, my brand new enchant. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Store away these keys and spawners and stuff that I have. Um, oh, I didn't even know that we had that airdrop. I think we got it as a reward from something. Let's drop it in. Find out what it wants to give me. Bunch of spawners, bunch of keys. I guess we'll, I think we've got a rare auto cell chest as well. Not bad at all. All right, so let's go back to the forest real quick because I do want to actually see what this is now going to be like with all of the different uh, all the different additions we've just had on it. Now, theoretically, the efficiency should make these trees mine. Yes, it does. It makes these trees mine very fast. Of course, we do have the turbo chopping as well, which basically just turns it into an instant mine uh, when that's activated. And I think my turbo chopping now, obviously being four, should be procking pretty well. I will be interested to see exactly what the Soul Reaper thing did or if that... What, is that what it was called? Oh, Spirit Feast. I don't even know why I called it that. Uh, Spirit Feast. I will be interested to see if that works because so far I've killed a whole bunch of these uh, things or whatever they are that, that appear, the soul things, and they literally haven't dropped anything to me. So I don't know whether maybe now that we've got this, we actually stand a chance of it dropping something a little bit better. Because I don't really know the whole progression through the souls thing, but I can only assume that it's something that we definitely want and definitely need. So yeah, the fact that we haven't even had a single soul drop yet is, is not ideal. Yeah, even when my turbo chopping isn't activated, now the fact that we've got efficiency five is making these trees pretty much instant disappear, which is actually 
absolutely perfect. It's exactly what we needed. Indeed, it is perfect. Now, I don't know what tier we actually go ahead and get our level up to the next forest section in. We should be able to, I think if we do slash forest, it'll tell us. 25, so we're a little way off. I think we're only 15 right now, so I do have a lot of off-camera grinding to do because I don't really want to do that necessarily on camera because that's going to be a lot to do and you guys don't really need to see that. But yeah, we do have a lot of stuff to do. Now, like I said with my quest, we've now moved on to, I believe, carrot farming. So we've actually got to place carrots, but I've got a feeling that our IS mastery isn't actually uh, high enough or going to be anywhere near high enough to do so because we've only farmed 761 uh, potatoes and we've got to farm at least 7,500 of them before we can even bother looking at carrots. And unfortunately, we are only 8,000 completed or farmed uh, materials into getting auto replant. So this is going to be a little bit of a grind here. So I think my first port of call for today, um, even if we, it's like the only thing I do today is to essentially grind out what we have of this farm and then make sure it's expanded throughout the rest of it because we are going to have a lot of uh, a lot of mining to do here of potatoes and not really a lot of uh, not really a lot of time to do it because we are essentially the only island member on right now that is going to be grinding this. So I've got to grind 7,500 potatoes somehow um, in order to uh, in order to get that done. And that's only to even then unlock access to carrots. Like we then theoretically would have to do it all again with carrots. So yeah, we've got we've got a we've got a little way to go here. But I said this a couple episodes ago and I'm still actively looking for keen skyblock members because we technically haven't really even started the grind, like the real grind. We've just been doing the very, very starting stuff here. So if you guys are keen on skyblock and you want to join a team which is looking to be with, I'd say we're looking to be I, I don't even know. I would say top 10, but I, <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible at this point. I, I would like to be at least within the top 25 islands ending off this season. So, um, yeah, if you guys would like to be interested or you are interested in joining a Skyblock team that is looking to do that, then uh, join my Discord. Let me know because I am looking to uh, I'm looking to recruit you, basically. To be fair, it shouldn't actually take me that long because even with what I just did, got us up to 1.4k pretty much. So, yeah, it shouldn't take too long to farm it. It's honestly just going to be the replanting that's going <laughs> to be the annoying part because i already know how long this is about to take for me to replant all right i have replanted everything i farmed and a little bit more nothing too crazy but yeah that that took me way longer than i would have liked it to have done um i'm not gonna lie so yeah i might have to wait until my island members jump on to help me with this because if we want to do seven thousand, it is gonna take me a, like i think it would take me literally hours to do on my own right now so i would like to wait for my island members and uh, hopefully they can help me out with that and we'll be good now we can actually go ahead and afford to max out all of these mining robots now because i've earned so many gems from doing everything that we've done in the uh in the chopping world so that's good those should now all be level fives now the only thing that or the other thing that i was thinking about is that i believe in here somewhere yes fun man has actually gone ahead and uh, got some more mining robot eggs which is perfect for us because it means that we can go ahead and uh and add them to this little contraption that we've got going here now um it's not obviously this is not the ideal setup. I do not really want to be using this setup right here uh, because it again, it's just not ideal. Um, however, what we will be doing soon is well, what we're doing now is I'm going to fill this up with what we've got and then I'm soon going to be using pretty much a full episode to go ahead and make a whole other section of them because they are insanely overpowered, I would like to say. Um, you know, they're definitely, they're definitely worth it. They're definitely worth to use. So we definitely want to go ahead and start making more of these and uh, going crazy with it because I think this is going to help me out a lot with probably probably mostly XP because of the gems that we're getting from chopping. I think that probably mostly XP this is going to be. Um, so yeah, we do want to get this set up very, very soon on like a full, you know, a full thing of them. But for right now, we've got these. We may as well set up what we've got and use the uh, use the little setup that we have here and use it and make the most out of it. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for right now. And uh, as we go along here, we will uh, we'll continue to upgrade. But as of right now, we've pretty much got what we've got. And there we go. I think that's all of them placed that can be placed um, for right now. So hopefully those continue. They do make me a little bit of money as well. Like I did just collect like a million just there. Um, but again, mostly for XP, I think for us. The only the other thing that I could do at the minute just for a little bit of extra XP is I believe, yes, he does have four grinding robots as well. I guess I could place this down and just let him go ham on the magma cubes for a little bit because we don't really have a spawner system set up as of yet. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to just have this guy right 
right here and let him just do whatever he wants. Um, we can probably, I don't know if he will even go for him there. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if he will actually grind him out or not. Okay, he will. Perfect. Um, so let me upgrade this guy because he could actually be really, really good for, uh, really, really good for XP. So yeah, I'll kind of let him do his thing. He can collect me what he needs to collect me. And I think obviously... That this will only work while this stack's here, but he's not going to be killing that stack anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I'll probably do a lot of AFKing, get all of this up, and then we'll actually be in a very, very good place. So, guys, with all that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode here. We still have not unlocked that V-Kit, so we'll be trying again next episode. Make sure you guys do enter for that $50 gift card on the store. The link is down in the description for the video you need to do it on. Um, and also, there's a top rank giveaway on that video as well, so make sure you check it out. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. Hopefully, you have all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next episode of Skyblock here on Akuma MC.